Hello and welcome to Foundation Class where we're going to have a special focus on a very natural style of wearing foundation for my friends that are about around 40 or getting slightly older when makeup starts to fail us. Makeup starts to go into a different direction and we don't really know what we do from there. This is also going to create a finish that I feel like most clients are going for. Sometimes if you use just one particular brush or one particular type of application method versus another, it can make a huge difference, especially with this product because it is so adaptable. I could also call this a two for one video because I'm going to be introducing you to a special tool that if the budget is a bit tight or time, your time budget is tight, this is going to be the one and done kind of brush. It can do so many different things, not just the foundation, it can do so much more and I'm gonna show you all of that in this video. Okay, we're gonna start off with step number one, which is prep your skin. This is something I would never skip, ever, a day in your life, especially now that you're getting close to 40, have hit 40, or you are over 40. It just does not work the same without having some sort of skincare in your life just before you go to do your makeup. Okay, so getting into the actual prep steps, uh, I believe eye cream, which is Lime Life's eye cream that came out last year, it is amazing it is going to be my first step because while this is soaking in we're gonna do our face so it actually will be time efficient when you're doing your makeup and while that's soaking in and you're doing your face by the time this is done you come back and boom you're just moving on so you're not waiting for steps and then for my face I'm gonna go in with Lime Life by Alcone's Holy Grail Duo Lab that is life-changing so good God. It comes back October 18th and I cannot wait. So this is from my Duo Lab machine. I used it this morning already, but I washed my face off to do this video, so I'm going to apply it again. I think it makes an amazing primer. This particular one is called Poreless Perfector and Hydra Serum. Now, if you haven't heard about this machine at all, I really need to do a video just for that because I can't squish it into this one. But do know that those are the two options I'm using. When I use the Hydra Serum blend, I find it really creates like a bit of a, not tacky, but towards that state of priming effect, which is perfect when you put your things on it and then you seal it. You're left with smooth, pristine skin and it's under there doing all the goodness, helping your skin, turning the clock back, making your makeup look better. There's so many things it does. That's how I start this whole shebang off. Step number two, after you've prepped your skin, everything's soaking in, you're going to move into your foundation. This is where the special tool comes in hand, where we're gonna deviate from typical methods of application into something a little bit more unique. I'm going to be using Lime Life by Alcone's brush number one. It is my go-to for creating like, if you can imagine powder foundation meets a balm, a face balm, and they had a baby. This is the finish we're gonna be going for. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the brush very similarly to a powder. When you pick it up with a brush like this that is very fluffy, it doesn't pick up a ton of product, but the product that it does pick up is really fanned out over top of all the different bristles. So you're not gonna get a dense application that just sits on your skin. So it really makes it fast, it makes it effective, it makes it dilute, sheer, whichever you wanna call it. You just start off by going into it much like you would a powder foundation. So just go into it like that. And then I always say start kind of where you need the most love because maybe you have redness, maybe you have a few age spots, maybe you've taken off your makeup too many times and created a little bit of, of wear and tear. So start there and kind of just blur out the things that you think need blurring so that you naturally won't pick up more product or overuse more product than you need because then what's left just needs a kiss of foundation. So I'm gonna also show you. So say I have something like that on my skin, um, but I don't wanna have full coverage just for that one little thing. I'm gonna show it to you in the end. So you really just take your brush and you're just kind of doing this. And a few pats back in. You continue on and then once you're done that any areas that need a little bit of extra coverage you're gonna do this special trick the special technique 
that I'm gonna show you with this brush that shifts it into a little bit more of a beauty blender or a blender full style of coverage. So you're going to take your palette, take your brush, and you're gonna just push your fingers onto it like this. And so that's gonna create a really dense packing surface. Go into your foundation and you're just gonna pat it. It's almost like you're stippling at this point. And do you see how it just completely disappeared? Because now you're picking up and being very dense about your application, much like kabuki brushes that have a lot of hard packed bristles. So you just kind of go into the areas where you need a little bit of extra. And so when you're patting it on, you just want to make sure you grab a mirror. Sometimes we can't see all the things that are there unless we have it right up close. So you can kind of just, oh, do I need to, do I need to melt in a little bit more? Now, if that doesn't do it because you have something like rosacea and you need just a little bit more pigment, you're going to use your facial concealer using the same technique. Now, if you have rosacea, you might be doing a bit of this. And so you can just use it over the areas that would be a bit more red. Sometimes noses are a special consideration all to themselves because things stick to them differently. Um, I once broke my nose, so I have, I feel like, bends and things in there that just, things sit differently because of the way the bristles hit my nose. So for me, sometimes I'll be applying and then I'll look in my mirror and I'm like, oh, there's stuff that's still kind of visible. So in that case, you can pick up a little blenderful sponge and just sort of pat in what it is that you see that didn't get blended in. So having one of these guys on hand is very, very handy. So anything that doesn't get blended in will do that in a pinch. And if you don't have one of those handy, you've got your hands. And so any sort of areas, if you have, as long as your fingers aren't super cold, you can just melt in anything that needs a little bit of smoothing out. So now moving on to concealer. When I'm using this particular brush and I'm going for this particular look, and I like my foundation to be very natural, I also like my under eyes to look very natural. So what I'll do is I'll go in with my pinky finger and I'll rub it together between my pinkies. That way I don't put on very much. It warms the formula up. I just go into the corners and I start to pat it. And as soon as I touch the inner corners of my eyes, it's gonna start to melt the product into my skin. So at that point, as soon as I can kind of feel it warming up, I just go outwards like that. And I just go right at the bottom just to kind of connect it. And that's it. The I Believe eye cream will have soaked in by this point and they just fuse together like a match made in heaven. There's not a lot of extra stuff needed. Sometimes I don't even use powder underneath there unless it's looking really shiny. Sometimes I just use my setting spray and that's all I need. So if you need to, you can sometimes go over it again with just a different finger just to dilute it out even more if it's just a little heavy looking. Depending how you dip your finger into it, you could be picking up a bit more than myself. Now that I've got my basic face together, you could just spritz and go, but I'm gonna show you a few other cool tips with this brush to show you the value in having it more than pretty much any other face brush that I've come across. So it is vegan, it is synthetic. It'll work with cream and powder products. So if we're gonna do, say, a cream style bronzing of our skin with a darker foundation, you can just go in and you can really just kind of fluff it on and not have to worry about it being super intense because again, we have very fluffy bristles. Now, if I wanna do something that's a little bit more of a contouring effect, I take and I go like this, just like I showed you, and you're gonna go into that same color and do you see how that suddenly turned it into a dense brush? I, then I just take and open it up like this and I start to whisk it towards the hairline. So that way it's really just blending it all together. This is one style of contouring. There's a million different ones out there. This is just an easy way to do it because then once I have that built in, what I'll do is I'll go back into my foundation and I'll just come underneath it like this and clean it up a little bit. It just makes the area a little bit more crisp. You can even take your lighter concealer with the same method and go over top and create a little bit of a highlighted effect that's gonna now melt into the contour. So that way it's not super heavy looking. 
Now that's something, the more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. It's not something that I think is super simple and intuitive when you first pick up a brush. So if you've tried it and it looked kind of crazy, just don't give up. So then if I've done my contouring on my cheek, I just make sure I kind of add in a little bit, the rest of my face and connect it all together. Now the last thing I'm gonna finish off with is adding cream blush and then setting it also with this brush. Cream Style Blush is basically using enduring lip color. It is healthy for your face anywhere, not just your lips. So you can get really multifunctional with your products when they are professional and a high quality. So I just basically put two dots there. You can take and just start to blend it in. Being a brush that is very fluffy, it's gonna really dilute it across your cheek and the finish ends up being very natural. Now we're just going to finish things off with taking the exact same brush. Most of the product is already worn off, so I don't have to worry, but if you are, you can just do this or the back of your hand. And I'm going to pick up my Handy Quad Face Palette from Lime Life. It is one of my favorites. It's so convenient. It's all there. And you can basically take that and set those areas that are still a little more shiny than they need to be. You can choose to also skip powdering your face if you're super dry and just go in with a setting spray like Time Setter. If you want to do a little buns and blush blended together, which is a nice kind of rosy glow, you just take a little bit of that. If you need to dilute it, a little bit of that. And you can just kind of go over the areas that you did your cream blush or maybe you didn't use that step and this is actually adding your color. Of course, you can just go straight in with your blush as well. I find you just use the tip of the, the bristles rather than the whole brush itself. Now this is the highlight. So for applying this, if we were to stay with the same brush, and I'm going to do another video to show you another way that I love doing it, but if we were to keep in line with just the one and done technique, what you can do is go in with this brush like this. So you just get a little tiny bit, and then we're going to paint it on top of our cheekbone like that. flip it and now we're gonna just polish it now I like applying it this way the most because I find if I use any other brush it applies a little bit more than I'm comfortable with it doesn't polish it into my skin quite as well and it just really doesn't look natural and I think the goal for most of us is we want it to look like it's realistic so this is kind of an easy way to do it when I'm sticking with just one brush Okay, so that's all the tips I'm gonna pack into this one video. I hope some of them were helpful for you. If you need to be color matched, you can always contact me if you don't have a beauty guide. If you have one, obviously talk to her. Okay, so if you don't wanna miss any more of these tips, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you subscribe and give me a like if you appreciated this style of video, if you learned something as a way to say thank you, keep them coming. I thank you guys very much for watching this. My name is Charity Lambert and it was a pleasure.